say, prairie school houses in the street. Yeah. I mean, uh, in the town. Right. Mm -hmm. Many of them are over here. That's one thing. But I didn't want it to be just a pure architectural play. What mattered greatly to me was the fact that who lived in the house, okay? Mm -hmm. That matters to me as a black person. For an example, when we dedicated um, the street in front of Percy Julian's house, mm -hmm. The house is a high-style bungalow, but it's significant historically because he lived there. Mm -hmm. I didn't want that history getting lost. So now that's a category. <clears throat> and then there's the architectural category. And then the third category is a kind of a combo category. I insisted upon it can be a combination of who lived there, if it's architecturally significant, or if it matters to me. Okay, mm -hmm. based on what mm -hmm. I know. About the That's history. why the term heritage is being utilized. Exactly. <clears throat> the history. And that was an evolution. It didn't start out. Like so that. so it's, it's really kind of important. In terms of uh, the deco thing and all that, we did have a construction training program here, and I don't know if you guys were aware of that. Mm -hmm. But we actually.